So is SQL a programming language? Kind of. Well, it actually, it is considered a programming language. It's considered a 4GL language, fourth generation language. A characteristic of a fourth generation language, they're supposed to read and write like a human language, like English, you know? So if you look at SQL code, it's pretty, it doesn't look like code, it looks like English. And uh, it's a domain specific language, of course, meaning it's designed to work with SQL based databases, which are relational databases and the language is designed around that but you wouldn't be programming apps in sql it's limited to what it does but it's such an important language it's still one of the most important languages in the world today can you call it a programming language yes you can because sql you can put in conditional logic in there which means you can have it make decisions based on uh, circumstances and input that does make it a programming language although very limited back in the 90s I remember at least at that time there was a huge battle between the SQL guys the database guys and the programmers the SQL guys wanted to put business logic into their SQL again showing that SQL is a language that's capable of doing that so the, the SQL guys the DBAs the database administrators would want to would push for business logic in the SQL which by the way is a bad idea and the developers would be like no 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 we don't want to put business logic in the SQL but in that battle it became it became stupid where the developers would want to not have any use any of the capabilities built into SQL and the databases and it created for far less efficient apps so let me give you a quick example so databases are applications or programs that are designed specifically to manage large sets of data a database has all kinds of tools built into it to make that uh, fast and efficient so you can do something like a stored procedure stored proc which is basically a pre-compiled uh, SQL call a pre-compiled pre, pre query to the database so that it's optimized so you write your stored procedure they call it stored proc the database will then optimize that uh, that SQL for you so it's it's much faster so a lot of programmers say no 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 stored proc so what they would use they would just use the database as a uh, as a dumb dumb database store they wouldn't use any of the power of the database which is kind of silly in my opinion so what a lot of these guys in the Java world would do they would just grab a whole bunch of data from the database bring it across the internet bring it into the app layer and then process the data inefficiently in Java and I thought that it was always stupid. They're not leveraging the power of the database. On the other hand, in back in the day, DBAs would try to push a lot of times to have business logic in the SQL, which is stupid because then, uh, then you got business logic scattered all over the place. It should be centralized in the business layer. So anyway, there you go. Uh, I went off on a tangent there. So yes, SQL is a programming language it's a 4GL language but it's very limited to what it does but you should understand it and use it because most of the time when it comes to web apps the speed of a web app comes down to how well designed the database is and how well designed the query structure is whether you use ORM or you use direct SQL when you have to you might use stored procs in a particular situation you might use database views etc etc so yeah it's a it's a language